Namaste. My name is Henry Jodicaire. I'm a French Canadian hypnotherapist, psychotherapist, and my special field of interest and study is brainwashing and mind control by cults. In the early 1970s, I was also a member and a leader of the Hare Krishna movement and I was the first devotee of Krishna to open center in South America in Caracas, Venezuela and in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And now in 2019 there is thousands of devotees of Krishna in South America divided into different cults, different sect. And recently I made several videos to expose the terrible abuse of the leader of one of those cult. His name is Paramadvaiti Swami, Ulrich Alan, that you see here. Ulrich has been pretending for more than 25 years that he was a perfect celibate. He made his follower believe that he was a pure guru, a pure teacher, representative of his guru, Swami Bhaktivedanta, and of his god, Sri Krishna. But now, we find out that one of his disciples called Prishni, that you see here, has said publicly that she's been having a complete sexual relationship with Paramadvaiti for the last 10 years. He's been lying. He's an hypocrite. Kept the sacred orange robe that was worn by Lord Chaitanya, by Swami Bhaktivedanta, by Swami Bhaktisiddhanta, that has been worn in other tradition by the Buddha himself. This guy dressed as a monk so that he can control his disciple, get a lot of money, power, adoration, completely cheating hundreds of people. It was known that he used to grab women here, women there, touch this, touch that. But now, someone has come forward to say, hey, I had sex with him for 10 years or more. And this guy doesn't want to give up his robes, doesn't want to give up his power, doesn't want to give up his money. When you have hundreds of disciples that sends you hundreds of dollars every month and you live in India, you can go pretty far on $10,000, $20,000 or more. This is a very big scam and I'm making this video because I feel sad that so many young people are being brainwashed by this guy and believing that he is a true spiritual master that can lead them to God. The Vrinda sect is basically two people, Paramadvaiti and Atulananda, Aurelio Perez. 
and I met Aurelio Perez in the street of Buenos Aires in 1972. I taught him the basic of the Hare Krishna philosophy. I brought him to see Swami Bhaktivedanta in Mexico. And now he think he is a spiritual master that can lead other to God himself. This is a great delusion. It is a great scam. I'm making this video for all the devotees of Krishna who can understand English around this planet. Beware of this guy, Ulrich Alan, who claimed to be a guru, a representative of Krishna, but he is actually a sexual predator. Let me explain to you how terrible this is from a psychological point of view. For a young lady to take for Guru a man in his sixties, naturally she will think of the spiritual master as a father. And all the literature on psychology shows how terrible it is when a father violates his own daughter, when there is an incest. It completely destroyed the subconscious mind. And this is what's happening here. Gurus that were supposed to say, come with me, I will protect your heart and bring it to God. They instead use the poor girl as a sexual object. Just think about that. It's a total, complete destructions of one's disciple for one sexual pleasure. It is important that we talk about this because we have seen in the past of ISKCON various people dress in a robe of sannyasin but they were hypocrite, the biggest one is surely Kirtan Ananda that you see here, Keith M, a lifelong homosexual and pedophile, a guy that was abusing dozens of young boys, six, seven, eight, nine year old. We know that he kept the charade going till the very end when he was in India. And very few people, when this was happening at the beginning, dare to say something. Hey, here's a pedophile. Nearly no one until Sulo Chan spoke and he got killed in Los Angeles by a disciple of Kirtanananda only because he wanted to tell the truth. How many others live such lies? And how many now in ISKCON are playing that game of being dressed in orange but having secret lives so they can keep the power, so that they can keep the money coming in, so they can keep the adoration coming in. We know of Ari Dayananda that for many years, so many rumors about his sexuality, how many more in ISKCON are living a lie, are being hypocrites. Well, I'm calling upon those that are listening to this video 
to out them. Hey, you are an hypocrite. Get married, get a life instead of being an idiot having sex in secret. Can you imagine the life, the mind, the subconscious mind of this guy, Paramanvaiti? That for at least 10 years is sleeping with Prisney in secret. But he also been touching other girls in a plane in Brazil. One of his disciples, Radha Kunda, said that he put his finger right into her vagina when he could have a very good partner, have a normal sex life. It's all completely crazy sex, trying to fulfill fantasies. It is extremely far from true Krishna consciousness. In my book right now, I'm nearly 70 year old, there's people who believe in Krishna. The believers who are trying to reach whatever is written in the scripture. And then there is the realizer, the self-realize, as the Bhagavad Gita says. The self-realized soul can show you the truth because he has seen the truth. Some other commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita say, who has experienced the truth. So some people are trying to believe and they believe in Krishna, they believe this, they believe that, and then they're all that other part of themselves that says, I want power, I want sex, I want... I want adoration. They are not realized soul. So if you want a spiritual master, master, you have to find a realized person. Otherwise you end up with all those clowns that have come and gone in the Hare Krishna movement, the Ansiddhuta and Tamal Krishna and Jaya Tirtha. So many they have come and gone because they were pretender, they were not a realizer. But now it has got to a very, very serious point with this guy, Paramadvaiti. Ulrich Alan. Now his fanatic are sending messages of hate, threatening anyone that is going to speak against their guru, threatening even death, threatening to send the guerrilleros of the jungle of America, ELN, they will send those people to kill you if you dishonor the name of Paramadvaiti. It is very serious and I'm calling upon the authorities of ISKCON to do something, those people are giving a really bad name to the Hare Krishna movement in South America. The problem with the little cult, the little sect, at least if you are in a big organization like ISKCON, you can appeal. Uh, you can say to the GBC, something wrong is happening here. But this little cult here, Vrinda cult, there's nobody to appeal to. It's just these two clowns, Paramadvaiti and Atulananda, who think they are the coolest religion on the planet. So, I want to 
congratulate Prisney to have come out and say this is happening to me. After 25 years of service, she's basically in the street, no money even to buy food or rent a house. She's been kicked out. Congratulations to her sister that is trying very hard to expose Padamadvaiti. And this is a very strange situation because Prishni has a sister called Mohini that you see here. And Mohini is still deeply in the cult, deeply brainwashed, and she is the person we think that is behind all those threats to our own family, to our own mother and father. That's how dark this cult is. If you don't know all the detail about what Kirtan Ananda and others have done, I would like you to read a good book, Killing for Krishna by Henry Dostovsky. I've learned a lot from that book. And remember that those who do not learn by their mistake are bound to repeat those mistakes. So get this video in the end of the Hare Krishna ISKCON governing board commissions to the present leaders. It is important that you write letters to the FBI, to the Interpol, to the police in India that there's someone called Ulrich Alan that is scamming hundreds of people and he is a sex predator. Namaste. Thank you very much. Spread this message so that no more women will suffer at the end of this pervert.